Hey everyone, welcome back to 996 to Howl. It's still really quiet around the NHL in the month of August, so I thought why not conclude ranking of all uh, 32 NHL teams. I did a ranking of just nicknames alone, and now I'll go to logos, just ranking them solely based off visuals and vibes here. Like the previous video, we'll have the Coyotes here and not the Utah logo, since the Utah logo, again, is not permanent and is just being used for the first inaugural season. So we got 32 teams here. We got the updated Kings and Anaheim. Uh, they're going to be last. So let's just get into it. We'll start with the first one, Florida. Relatively new. I wonder how old this is. Is it coming up to 10 years? It might be eight years. Bit of a, a soccer motif here. Uh, I know they got a lot of soccer fans in the state of Florida. I'll go with slightly above average. I'm using C. As the average here, you got below average in D and then terrible in F, above average in B and pretty good to amazing in A and S tier. It's just perfect, which is rare uh, for a, a sports logo. Then we got the Washington Capitals. Uh, yeah, spelling out their full name, pretty rare. I think that's the only one other than Los Angeles here. I'll go with a, I'll go with a D here. They got much, and it's getting caught off by the, the square here. But I, I think they got better logos in their system. The Screaming Eagle's pretty good. I don't like the colors of the Screaming Eagle. If they did the red, blue, white with the Screaming Eagle, that'd be good. They also got that shoulder patch with the Washington DC monument shadow in it. That's a pretty good secondary logo as well. Then we'll go to Dallas, relatively new as well. Maybe the same time around Florida or a bit newer. I might go might go average with this. I just don't like how the D doesn't pop enough from the background of the star. So we'll go, it's pretty average. Winnipeg, what's this now? 20 years old, 23 years old. What, they came back in 2011, maybe 2013. So that's completely wrong. It's about a 10 year logo. I'll go with D again, pretty lazy. I'm surprised they haven't updated it. It seems like they just took an existing logo and put a fighter jet on it so not much imagination there so we'll go with below average in d carolina they haven't updated this logo probably since existence i would say they could do a lot more but it's hard to really get the visual of a hurricane i think it's fine to below average but uh my, my first instinct was fine so we'll go with average here in the c tier got the nashville predators Pretty standard, you know, saber tooth tiger, not much imagination. We'll go with an, an average here. Maybe a bit unfortunate that the pictures cut some of these off, but we all get it. We all get it. The Sharks love this logo. I like the black secondary logo better where it shows like the fin of the actual shark, but we'll go with A. Might go to S tier as we go along here. If it was the black secondary one, I don't even know if they still use that one. Uh, that would be S tier. The Devils, uh, going with an F here. I really, really just dislike how the J and the N share a sort of space together. It's just, I, I just, uh, I, I just don't like that. I don't like the J and the N sharing that space there. It, it doesn't do much for me. You don't really know it's the Devils. I know it's historically relevant and iconic because they haven't changed it, which is the only good thing. Um, they're keeping with their iconography for so long, and it's pretty hard to go away from it, uh, especially, you know, they had that Jersey jersey, which was terrible. So we'll give that an F, maybe a bit too harsh there. For the lining, it, it, uh, pretty generic, but we'll go below average. There's nothing to hate about it. It's just generic. It's a lightning bolt. So it's not like, give me a, it doesn't give me visceral anger when I look at it. Uh, the Oilers, but you know, they could do a little bit more with the Euler motif. Uh, pretty standard, but it's not generic. I mean, some thought had to be put into this. I'll give it an average of a C tier. Islanders, um, yeah, that's an F as well. This looks like an M to me. I know you can't see my cursor, but the N and then the part of the Y, just whenever I look at it without concentrating, it looks like the letter M and that just always throws me off. And also like that part of the Y 
is thicker than the thinner other side of the Y. But I understand there's like a hockey stick, but why is that side of the Y thicker? It just makes it more easier for me to see the letter M instead of a Y and an N touching. So uh, like the like the Jersey Devils, it, it gets an F. Vancouver, even though I, I dislike the team, it's pretty good letter logo. I know baseball, the MLB has so many teams that have letter logos and it, it's very poor, which is why I really don't like baseball. All the logos pretty much are letters, but you could barely see the letter. Uh, I, I know it's the sea, obviously, but it's more about the whale coming out of the water, breaching the water. It, it's pretty good. I'll give that an A. But again, uh, one of my most dislikes teams, I would say. The Minnesota Wild, like their name, that's an S tier. Uh, I, I know the picture is kind of cutting it off, but the fact that it's like a bear head with the mouth with the river and the shooting star or the north star is its eye and then the sunset... A uh, very good nature landscape and they mix it in with like a threatening animal as well to you know showcase the wild uh, pretty good uh, logo there um, they use a lot of lettering in their logos Minnesota but this is a great logo maybe update the colors if you want to kind of update the look a little bit another letter logo we'll go with a B for average just to see with flames but it's not terrible to look at and the colors are, are good it's fire rangers i mean it's historically iconic but again just going off vibes and look it's not really doing much it's just a square uh but we'll go with d it's not an f at all um it's just below average next we got these three logos i put them here on purpose because these three logos just trip me up they give me psychic damage when i look at them because for each of these logos to really like capture the logo and understand what you're looking at, you need to like concentrate and spend some time. So we'll start with the St. Louis logo here. Um, the, obviously they want you to see the musical note on the left side, but just the wing part of it takes so much focus when I just glance at it. Like whenever you see these hockey logos, you're rarely seeing a logo. It's being flashed on the screen. It's a splash intro or outro on the scoreboard. It's very small, so you can barely tell. So you rarely just focus and just stare at a logo. And for me, the right side of the St. Louis logo takes too much focus. So my eyes are just seeing a big wing with like a circle attached to it. I really don't see a blue note with wings it's very hard for me to see that so we'll go below average i'll go with average there not below average these are the philadelphia is worse philadelphia again i know the picture is being a bit cut off here but what they want you to do is see the letter p uh, I, like for me with the philadelphia logo i see the huge wings on the left hand side and then a circle attached to it i don't at first glance see the letter p with some wings off the p like it takes me so long it, it takes me like focus and to stop and to like it's like a, a visual optical illusion to like see the letter p here so i don't understand if they want me to see the p or it's a bit of a cheeky like oh there's a p in this logo like i guess the v in the in the golden knights i don't know why i did that so for philly we'll go below average there and then Detroit, the same thing. Uh, even though I was a fan of Detroit since I was born to about the age of eight, like my mind just focuses on the wings and not the wheel. And you're supposed to look at it as a wheel moving to the left with wings. So like a, a speeding a car wheel or a motorcycle wheel. But for me, I just read it differently. I just see these wings with like a wheel attached to it. I, like you can see there, there's two wings overlapping each other to showcase a wheel with two wings. It's just really hard to see it. And I always gloss over it. And I don't want to focus on a logo to like appreciate what it is. But uh, we'll, we'll go with average there with St. Louis. The Golden Knights, pretty good logo. I'll go above average with B. I like the V there. It's I don't need to concentrate. You see it and oh look, a V. It's pretty obvious there coyotes that's an s tier i mean iconic if if the coyotes were a perennial competitive playoff conference final stanley cup final team um 
I think it would have grabbed the mainstream population to wear this sort of brand and logo. They're trying to do that uh, in the new ownership, but the team wasn't really good. So people wouldn't wear it. Um, like this jersey here with the yote head. You could do so much with the colors and the yote head, just taking the head part off the main body. But so original, so unique. Uh, showcases that it's a hockey team logo and uh, so much detail to it, but not overbearing or overwhelming. Um, just a great logo and hopefully it, it comes back sooner rather than later. Then we'll go to Boston. Uh, it's another letter logo. I'd say below average. Another, nothing really doing it. Obviously it was made in the year like 1910, so you can't really blame them. Uh, Montreal. It's got the H there. I think that stands for the Habitant, which is their nickname, the Habs. People say it looks like a toilet seat. I don't see that. Uh, we'll just go with average there from Montreal. Chicago, we'll put an average and move on. Avalanche, I believe they're one of the top nicknames in my nickname video, if not number one. Uh, pretty good letter logo. It's an A, and then you got the Avalanche of the Falling Snow. Not really sure why they have a cir circle there in the background doesn't really add to the logo at all i'll go with above i'll go with an a avalanche a um i think that's good company there toronto much better than the logo they had in the 2000 years i'm glad they went back to the old style uh, it's pretty good i'll go with a tier as well i wonder if they ever could do without the words like i wonder if they'd make a jersey like a third or an alternate and they try to go without the words and, and see how that plays out pittsburgh pretty good uh just like arizona but with less detail it's pretty simple but uh it's great to look at uh, kids love it and uh it, it has some popularity amongst the general population i'll go with a there as well seattle they could have done a little bit more with the I thing. It's, it's It doesn't take much focus away from the S, and all I see is the S. Sure, you could sort of see the ripples in this black line um, to showcase like a tentacle. Just They could have done it a little bit more, so I'll go below average here. Buffalo, uh, you got the buffalo. You got like the speed marks to show that's like a raging bull. You got the sabers there, good colors. I'll go with above average. Uh, be there Ottawa I look this logo is much better than like the other one where like the face is staring at you head-on uh, I might go with yeah I'll probably go with B on this as well Columbus I like this letter logo not too many people consider it a letter logo but there is the C with the, the American color surrounding the star I think I'll go with an A there y you don't know it's hockey uh, these like uh, Avalanche and Canucks and Toronto you don't know what's hockey either but it, it would I think just like the Coyotes if Columbus was like a winning competitive team that's a pretty good logo I could see mainstream people um, taking it on especially you know Americans who are very patriotic then we go with the new Kings one go with a B here I don't like how they added the Los Angeles part they could have just done the Kings with the crown but yeah, I guess it would have been empty space above the Kings, but it's classic, historic. Um, maybe just a crown logo I would have rated higher as an A. And then the Ducks, they were last place on the nickname list. Or they would have been last place again if they didn't update their logo like two months ago. But we'll give this an S tier. You got the hockey motif. It looks like the Sharks logo as well. Menacing goldie mask in the shape like of a duck. Um, great colors as well menacing look um, the the coyote duck and sharks one uh, really good and the Pittsburgh with the hockey stick I think oh the hockey stick in the Islanders one surprised that was an F but uh, loving the new Ducks logo and so this is it there's just based off vibes and visuals concluding my ranking of 32 teams hopefully we get some interesting hockey news uh, coming up and that's it so thanks for watching if you like what you see spread the word and as always, thank you for your support.